Would you dance if I asked you to dance? Would you run and never look back? Would you cry if you saw me crying? Would you save my soul tonight? Would you tremble if I touch your lips? Oh, please tell me this. Now would you die for the one you love? Oh, hold me in your arms tonight. I can be a hero, baby. And I can kiss away the pain. I will stand by you forever. Would you swear that you'll always be mine? Would you lie? Would you run and am I in too deep? Have I lost my mind? But I don't care you're here tonight. I can be your hero, baby. I will stand by you forever mm, You can take my breath mm. I just want to hold you, I just want to love you, am I in too deep, have I lost my mind, I don't care you're here tonight, I can be a hero baby, oh yeah. And I can kiss away the pain oh, And I will stand by you forever mm, Yes, you can take my breath away I can be a hero, baby And I can kiss away
celebrate with all of you. We say it's a wonderful thing. We all are grateful that for mamas and daddies is always a sad thing. But today we rejoice and we're all rejoicing that God has brought you together and that today we'll be joined as man. God is the author of love. The Bible teaches that God is love and that love comes from God from beginning to end. The Bible is love story. There we read of God's love for his people, of the love that sent Christ to the cross, of the redeeming love for the sinner, of abiding love for the redeemed. We read also of the love of man and woman, of Jacob's love for Rachel, of Mary's pledge to Joseph, of the Shulamite and her beloved. In the beginning, when the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and placed him in the Garden of Eden, Adam was lonely. So the Lord God made a companion and helper for him. When Adam saw Eve, he was no longer lonely. God can lead us to our life's companion. Abraham prayed that God would find a wife for his son Isaac, and God answered that prayer. When Abraham's servant found Rebekah, the servant bowed and worshipped, praising God. Then he brought her to his master's son. The scripture says Isaac loved her and he was comforted. God has guided Jeremy and Marianne to this moment and blessed their love and brought them together. Let us again go to him in prayer. O oh God, you have made us male and female and given us the desire to to leave father and mother and be united to the one we love and to become one flesh. We thank you for the love Jeremy and Marianne have for you. We believe that you have led them to this day, and we ask your blessing as they exchange their vows and seal their promises. As they become husband and wife, may they do so not only in our presence, but in yours, with the grace surrounding them and your love within their hearts. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jeremy, do you now leave your father and mother to establish your own home with Mary Ann as her husband, to receive her as your wife, to make a home where she will be loved and cared for as long as God grants her life? If so, answer, I do. Mary Ann, do you now leave your mother to establish your home with Jeremy, to receive husband to make a home where he will be loved and cared for for as long as God grants him life if so answer I do you can be seated Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. These are the things you remember after you have after you're married and all of this is done. It's the thing that makes it unique. Amen. Well, today we're glad to be here. This ceremony of marriage in which you've come to be united is the it's the very first and the oldest ceremony in all the world. It was celebrated in the beginning in the presence of God himself. Marriage is a gift of God. It's given to comfort the sorrows of life and to magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. Your marriage must stand not by the authority of the state, nor by the seal on your wedding certificate, but by the strength of your love and by the power of your faith in each other and most of all in God. You can have this kind of home if you continue to recognize God as the source of romance and love and affection. These are his gifts, so build your home on a spiritual foundation. With God, you have everything, and without him, you'll have nothing. Now, will you please join hands and to each other express your vows of love and devotion? Jeremy, will you repeat this vow to Marianne, saying after me? I, Jeremy, take you, Marianne, 
to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are separated by death. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. Marianne, will you repeat this vow to Jeremy, saying after me, I, Marianne, take you, Jeremy, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are separated by death. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. The Word of God tells us what love is like and what love does. Love is patient, love is kind, and it's not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant, and it does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own, it is not provoked, and does not take into account a wrong that's been suffered. It does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things and believes all things hopes all things, and endures all things, because love will never fail. The New Testament reveals that happiness comes from putting the other one first rather than oneself. So be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. Wives, be subject to your own husbands as to the Lord. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church, and he gave himself up for her. Let each individual among you also love his own wife, even as himself, and let the wife see to it that she respect her husband. Having this kind of love in your hearts, you've chosen to exchange rings as the sign and seal of the vows you are making today. May I have the rings? The exchanging of rings is such an important part of this ceremony because by doing it, you're, you're saying before everyone and creating a token of your love for one another and your faith in what you're doing today, that what you do today is not something that you have done unplanned. My goodness, you've had three and a half years to make these plans. <laughs> but it says you really mean what you say, and you tell everybody else the same thing by the wearing of rings. They're made of precious metal, and they remind us that love is not cheap, and it's not common. In fact, we always have to recognize love will probably cost us dearly. But this is made in a circle, and its design tells us that love must never come to an end. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart, even for a moment, may they be constant reminders of the wonderful promises that you're making to each other today. Okay. All right, Jeremy. Will you take your ring and place it upon the third finger of Marianne's left hand and repeat after me this promise? With this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. As God is my witness. Marianne, will you take the, your ring and place it upon the third finger of Jeremy's left hand and repeat after me this promise? With this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife. As God is my witness.
times you stood by me for all the truth that you made me see for all the joy you brought through my life for all the wrong that you made right for every dream you made come true for all the love i found in you i'm thankful for each day much is true I was blessed because I was loved by you you were my strength when I was weak you were my voice when I couldn't speak you were my eyes when I couldn't see you saw the best there was in me you lifted me up when I couldn't reach you gave me faith cause you believe I'm everything I am because you love me. You gave me wings and made me fly. You touched my hand, I could touch the sky. I lost my faith, you gave it back to me. And no star was out of reach You stood by me and I stood tall I had your love, I had it all I'm grateful for each day you gave me Maybe I don't know that much But I know this much is true I was blessed because You were my voice when I couldn't speak You were my eyes when I couldn't see You saw the best there was in me Lifted me up when I couldn't reach You gave me faith cause you believed I'm everything I am because you
Just as the bride and the bridegroom romance, we want to cause you to join and move you to dance, creator of the universe. Won't you dance, oh dance with us, creator of the universe. Spirit in graceful descent, come and fall as our praises ascend. As a dove, come and rest in your grace, and take us to the holiest place, Creator. In this union before you, saith the Lord, I have taken a groom of love and uniting him to a bride of truth. It's this bride to whom I am to come. This couple does prophesy well of me. I am that bridegroom of love, and my bride is a bride of truth. No guile or false humility. My sweet bride of truth. Bearing light that sets you free With my sweet bride of truth Won't you dance, oh dance with me Creator of the universe Won't you dance, oh dance with us The bride and the bridegroom have asked, which I think is a very smart thing to do, to be blessed today. And all of us who are here would say we know all of our need to be blessed. As you start this journey together, you need to not only bless each other, but walk in the blessing of your parents. What a great release that is, and you've asked them to come today. So we're going to hear what these moms and dads have to say as they bless their children. And Mary Ann, we uh, pledge uh, our love to you and Mary Ann is a new member of our family and we rejoice with you uh, today. We just pray that may the road rise up to meet you and may the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm on your faces and may the rains fall soft upon your fields. May the light of love guide your paths together. May the laughter of children Grace the halls of your home, and may the joy of living for one another trip a smile from your lips and a twinkle from your eyes. And when eternity beckons at the end of a life heaped high with love, may Christ embrace you with the arms that have nurtured you the whole length of your joy-filled days. 
may gracious God hold you both in the palm of his hand. And today, may the spirit of love find a dwelling place in your hearts forever. And our greatest wish for you is that you always remember how much you are loved. It seems sort of strange to be here because this is where me and your dad got married. <laughs> but um, I, I don't know. All I can say, Jeremy, you remember that we were in the old the second school building and Bobby Connors came and he prayed for you and he said that you were enlisted. And from that day on, I mean, we know it's true in the natural, but it's true in the spiritual as well. You'll always be a defender of the faith. And together, I just think that you're both an unbeatable team that wherever you go, you will be people of influence. The people that are around you will be influenced by your strong stand of your faith and your love for each other. So I just bless you both. I hope you grow in love each and every day and you have lots of grandchildren for us. <laughs> Jeremy and Marianne, I love you very much, both of you. I just want to bless you both now that, that you'll be prosperous, bless your marriage, that you'll have guidance and direction in everything that you do, everywhere that you go. And Jeremy, it's, it's been a pleasure for you to have come into our life. And you're, you're my son now. And I, my suggestion to you is to always keep prayer in your marriage and to keep each other above each other. A family that prays together stays together. As pastors, we want to release over your life the Word of God to let you know that in this walk that you're walking that if you don't establish your life personally as well I'm talking about individually as well as together on what the Word of God says you're going to get lost there isn't anything else that you there's no other standard but this is the Word of God over you all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the offspring of your body, and the produce of your ground, and the increase of your herd, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord shall cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you they will come against you one way and will flee before you seven ways the Lord will command this blessing upon you in all that you put your hand to and he will bless you in the land that he gives to you the Lord will make you abound in prosperity in the offspring of your body and in the produce of your ground in the land which the Lord shall give you the Lord will open for you his good storehouse all the heavens to give rain to your land in its, in its season and to bless all the work of your hands the Lord will make you the head and not the tail and you only will be above if if you listen to the commandments of the Lord your God which we charge you today to do faithfully in the sight of the Lord you'll all just pray with us now and release a blessing over their lives father we release your blessing we're standing under the hoopah today they have chosen to be married under a symbol the symbol of your presence and right now Lord under the shadow of your hand under the shadow of this Almighty one they have chosen to take their vows and today Lord to receive your blessing so, Lord, we ask now that all that we've done would culminate in that one most important thing, and that is your hand upon them. 
May they be blessed from this day forward in their commitment to one another. I thank you from deli for delivering them from hidden snares. I thank you, Lord, for causing them to walk together in unity of purpose. I thank you, O oh God, that even from this day forward, that every disagreement would be placed under the blood, that they would learn how to communicate as those who love each other and love you. I pray, O oh God, that under your presence they will go forth and that your presence will permeate their lives and even in their children, that they will rise up and call their own parents blessed and will bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We receive you a blessing now in Jesus' name. And everybody who agreed said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. You have come before us and before God and, and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands, have made promises of faith and devotion to one another, and have sealed these promises by giving and receiving of rings. This is what this is it. It is with great joy that we pronounce that you are husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. What God has joined together, let man not separate. And Jeremy, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Now it is our pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time together, Mr. and Mrs. Jeremy Burgess. <laughs>
think that's all of them. <laughs> Once again, on behalf of the families, we welcome you here and welcome you to the reception at the Lake Ashton Country Club. And you can feel free to uh, be dismissed and go straight there. I understand there will be some hors d'oeuvres and some other things to keep you going until the bridal party gets there. So God bless you for coming. You can be released.